Another Pokemon regional, another VGC champion, caught cheating. Oh, so that's why they have me blocked. Just dropped from tournament because my team failed hack check. Since I got disqualified, I will not be competing tomorrow. I will also be taking a long break from VGC and social media. This disqualification completely crushed me inside, and it might take a while for me to pick up this game again. I'm logging out now. Goodbye for a while. Fuck you. You're- you cheated! You don't get to play the sympathy card, except, I guess, in the Pokemon community. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Sorry, dude. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh! Other just fraud Poketubers. Great. Uh, other frauds and cheaters. Great. Fuck the Pokemon community. We saw this with Pokemon Worlds. The Pokemon company said, hey, we always do a hack check, but make sure that you don't bring hacked Pokemon to Pokemon Worlds this year that's being hosted in Japan. Players brought hacked Pokemon, got disqualified on a scale we've never seen before, and then the Pokemon community gathered around for sympathy for everyone, and evil people like Pokemon Challenges hosted a tournament rewarding the people that got disqualified for having hacked Pokemon. So who is Playmaker708? Oh, look at that! So we have Kurt's list of players that posted their rental codes, but also we see a lot of cheaters here, so just because it has the green check mark doesn't mean they're clean. However, the red X means confirmed cheater, and not posting a rental code pretty much confirms she's a cheater at this point as well, where we have this dude as the champion for the Milwaukee Regionals. However, that's not the only player that got hit at Knoxville Regionals. We got this dude, 7-0, day one, going into day two, further proving that every top player is a cheater because the advantage is so massive it's impossible to make up for as a legitimate player you just stand no chance been disqualified from knoxville regionals i don't know anything except they told me my whole team failed the hack check that's all i know sorry to let everyone down you're not sorry you cheated at a pokemon event because you have no respect for the rules or anyone you just want to steal prize money by the way, the head judge recommended that I check my Pokemon in an external program to see what might have been flagged. Now, even if this is true, it isn't surprising because my magnum opus of a video, Pokemon tournament officials allow hacking, Pokemon are just ones and zeros, has exposed the corruption in all levels of play Pokemon for many years now. Also, any honest, legitimate player that has tried to become a judge or successfully become a judge for the Play Pokemon program learns that like, oh, they just actually allow cheating and no one cares. So another judge or Pokemon tournament official supporting cheating and then being like, uh, eh, sucks and we can't tell you, so go find out for yourself is not a surprise if it even happened, but whatever. Are they admitting Pika Hex has a better hack check than they do? Because that's just pathetic if so. That's not what they're admitting because they're not going to tell you, oh yeah, this is how exactly how your Pokemon are hacked, so don't do this the next time you cheat, that way you don't get caught. At the very least, the Pokemon company isn't going to tell you how to circumvent the hack check. Also, as we've seen with all of Kurt's free hack checks, yeah, Pika Hex is better than the official tools because the Pokemon company is still clueless at catching hacking, even though whatever they've done to like upgrade the hack check in the last couple of events is still pretty potent. Oh, here we go. Own up to your mistakes. You used hacked Pokemon. That's why you got disqualified. You got what you deserve, so you shouldn't be so shocked about it. Problem is, if you receive Pokemon trade, there's no way to know. All right. It's on. It's it's literally in the rules that regardless if traded for, if your Pokemon are cheated, you are 100% responsible for them and can be disqualified for those Pokemon. So if you don't get them yourself, it's still your fault. And it's not a surprise that everyone in the Pokemon community is cheating, so you can't trust anyone. Even better, one of the sponsored players that got disqualified in the last regionals at Liverpool made a statement about this. The judge with the most responsibility for the event recommends that you check your Pokemon with the external tool to see what the error could have been. They prohibit you from using it, and now they tell you to check what is wrong using it? Clown. Well, I mean, the assumption is that if you're already cheating and you're already using hacked Pokemon, go back into your tool and find out what you did wrong. Could also just be a funny condescending response. Again, if this even happened that way. But cheaters commenting on cheaters getting disqualified in Pokemon VGC is just insane to me. And then we're just kind of searching around, seeing what people had to say, found more cheaters. So yeah, this dude had a Pokemon removed at Worlds and also had Pokemon removed at Liverpool. 
So, unluckily had to play the entire tournament without Frigoreth. This led me to face four auto-loss matchups in a row. So yeah, Pokemon VGC cheating has not gotten any better. Everyone's a cheater. We already knew this just from like the previous hack checks that Kurt has done. And another event, another VGC cheater caught or multiple disqualified or whatever it is at this point. Yet Pokemon Company is silent. Chris Brown is silent. Sponsors are getting involved. And it just gets more and more of a mess because cheating has been out of control for the entire history of Pokemon VGC. And it's finally imploding. I can only hope this ends in the death of VGC. It's also funny because now that there's more prize money on the line for this year's Pokemon VGC, there's only going to be more cheating and more problems that result from that. And again, hopefully this just completely implodes the scene or something is finally done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.